Welcome to Saturday Story Circle, always on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Welcome back to the Mutual Audio Network's presentation of Crimson Garnet. Okay, so this is the first of the audio dramas for Crimson Garnet. I would like to take this time to specially thank uh, Julia Westlake Suter for doing the first two drama episodes. Uh, that would be episodes four and five. Uh, she was the narrator. But without further ado, Crimson Garnet, episode four. This is the Crimson Garnet. Written by Nathan D. Caldwell. Produced by Jimmy D. Robbins. Episode 4. My Uncle, My Friend, My Ally. The outback of Australia, 2 p.m. All seems quiet here, but in Sydney, Australia's airport, the executive known as Andrew Bronze is awaiting a very special flight. The plane arrived and Dwayne Bronze stepped off the stairway looking up, smiling. Hey, Uncle. Dwayne! Andrew smiled widely, shaking the boy's hand very empathetically. Good to see you, mate! It was impossible, however, for Andrew to not notice the next passenger exiting off the plane. Dad! So you decided to come after all? Wonderful! What changed your mind? Matthew Bronze walked a bit closer and looked up to his son, Andrew. It's a long story. We have time. I'd say an unknown amount of time. Quite long, I'd say. Right? Right. He smiled. You see, when Duane was given a mechanical ring I invented, he donned a suit and became a hero. Now he's fairly famous and fighting criminals while studying at college. Uh, until now, on his vacation. He's keeping it a secret to most. Don't tell anyone that he's... Crimson Garnet in My Uncle, My Friend, My Ally. Looks like you have something to be proud of, eh? Well, I know I can probably do a lot of good. Dwayne, you don't know the half of it. A large robotic creature walked as silently as possible through the outback of Australia near its target. It was known as a drone, a highly specialized robot programmed for one thing alone, to obey its master. A very evil man. Drone 5, are you at your location? Affirmative. Weapons are locked and ready. Fire. It didn't take his super hearing sense to tell that it was coming, but it did take a sense of hearing trained to detect things like the gigantic robots known as drones to save the lives of those near and dear to him, and sometimes his own. Andrew Bronze moved his father and nephew out of the way with a shout. Move! Miss. How? Target moved. One chance was all he dared risk. He didn't want the attacker to destroy this expensive machinery. He had to assume he would lose if he continued the assault. Retreat. What is it? It's a drone, Dwayne. It meant to kill me. Why would that thing want to kill you, Andrew? Never mind that, Grandpa. It's time to take action. With a quick change, Dwayne pulls out the trusty Garnet costume, knowing full well he could catch up with the retreating drone. Upon changing, Dwayne gives the ring its command. Garnet! Lightning strikes the ring, activating Dwayne's massive powers. With another command, he aims at the drone and shouts. Flash! sending an immense bolt of lightning at the drone, hitting dead on, but without a scratch. Crimson Garnet could not figure out why his massive flash of lightning had done nothing to the mechanical drone. Its massive robot body still loomed over them. Am I weak? Nah, you just need a different aim. Tearing off his suit revealed another side of him. The man was dressed like some sort of outback barbarian thick leather straps forming an X on his otherwise bare chest. A dagger, 
was now easily seen sheathed at his waist. Hitting a button on that dagger lengthened it to a sword. Another button press made the sword sprout flames. An ally like the attacker wouldn't hurt either. Matthew looked to his grandson Duane and smiled. Looks like you're not alone. Attacker used his jet-like boots to make a huge leap straight towards the drone. He aligns himself and prepares to hit a drone's only vulnerable spot. There was only one way to destroy a drone, and Andrew Bronze, the attacker, was doing just that. With his flaming sword, he cut off the robotic drone's head. Seeing the defeat of one of his prize robots, the drone master orders a quick retreat. Get out fast. Look at all those drones. Yep, quite a few, mate. It's a nice place to visit. Dwayne started but was interrupted by another person who to the Garnet's surprise had been watching. Well, good job, you two. Who's your friend, Andrew? Never seen him before. Dwayne was shocked that this guy knew his uncle's identity, which Dwayne merely assumed was a secret. He thought he'd better respond to the question, however. Name's Crimson Garnet. The stranger smiled. Good try, but not familiar with the territory, eh? I guess not. Sir, pardon me, but how did you know the attacker was Andrew Bronze? Andrew doesn't hide his identity. What respectable person does? I do. Sorry, mate. Suddenly, a large robotic drone head rose from above the trees, seemingly out of nowhere. Look out! Duane said as a massive laser shot out of the drone's eyes. The drone's blast missed the mark. Thanks to the Crimson Garnet shoving the people out of the way, saving three lives in the process. Thank you, mate. It's my job. George here is a big man in Sydney. Pleased to meet you, but I really must be going. Well, good. Where'd he go? Later, in his computer console room, the drone master sat at his computer console. Who is he? He spoke to himself while looking at an image of the helmeted hero who foiled his plans this day. Not enough data. Zoom in. The computer magnified 70%. Eliminate that stuff. The computer began eliminating the excess data on the screen. Who is that? Not enough. Cancel question. Previous data request found. A newspaper article appeared on screen. Headlines read, Garnet does wonders to stop crime. He read the article. Ah, so he calls himself the Garnet. Hmm. Well, time to crush his stone. Duane reactivated the ring. He had redone the suit so that he could get a better look at the area where he was attacked previously. I can't see anything out here. Not even a trace of where those things came from. Target locked. Well, Garnet, you'll pay now. Just as soon as the drone master locked onto his target, he gave the order to fire on this new hero, the one who called himself the Crimson Garnet. The large beam of light struck the Garnet with intense force. Ow! That's what I get for not activating the ring. What if he fires again and I'm not charged up? It'd kill me. The drone master checked on the drone he piloted. Check his vitals. The vital signs were definitely showing a nice hard hit on his target. What was done differently? The computer was no help in finding an answer. Finish him. Garnet raised his hand to the sky and said, though feebly, Garnet! As lightning struck the ring, Duane felt the adrenaline rushing through his body. His wounds were healing. What's happening now? Target's vitals are stable. He has gotten up. I can see that. You, you, oh, forget it. This can't be happening. It can't!
You have just heard The Crimson Garnet. Cast for this episode are as follows. Crimson Garnet, played by Jimmy David Robbins. The Attacker, played by Carl A. Nordman. Matthew Bronze, played by Carl A. Nordman. Drone Master, played by Jack Riley. George, played by Nathan Caldwell. Music comes from Kevin McLeod at Incomputech.com and is used with his permission with a Creative Commons license. Find out more of his work by visiting his website. Sound effects from freesound.org and is used with their permission from a Creative Commons Zero US license. Find out more from them by also visiting their website. This has been a Protectorate production. Thank you for listening. Good morning! We hope you're enjoying Saturday's Story Circle. Got enough cereal? How's the coloring going? You can always join us tomorrow on Mutual with the Sunday Showcase. Original audio drama from the United Artists of Audio right here on Mutual. Subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for exciting audio drama every day. Or find the Sunday Showcase feed in your favorite podcast players. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.